section 2.1. Um, this section deals with um, first we, we ask a question is basically we need to know how to solve differential equation in the form dy dx equals f of x y subject to a given condition y of x sub 0 equals y 0 okay so how are we going to solve a, a differential equation in this form? This kind of differential equations, where they give you the differential equation and a condition, is called, first thing, is called an initial value problem, IVP, initial value problem. Uh, so they might give you like a condition this is this means it's at a point x0 y0 that's what this means so in other words the when we solve differential equations we get curves we get curves and those curves that we get um, they can be infinitely many of them there can be infinitely many of them and all of them can be solutions but how many of them they go through that point x0 y0 can is it only one is there only are there two or three or how many so let me show you an example first let's say we have this differential equation 25y equals 0 y equals c1 cosine 5x okay now if i want to show this is a solution all i have to do find y prime c1 is a constant so 5 sine 5x but it's a negative and y double prime keep the negative 5 c1 out the derivative of this is 5 cosine 5x which is negative 25 c1 cosine 5x now we substitute them in there so the left hand side would be negative 25 c1 cosine 5x plus 25 c1 cosine 5x what, what is that going to give us oh that gives us zero which is the right hand side so that's this tells you it's a solution to this equation solution notice notice the solution to this differential equation it's not a, just a point it's a curve it's it's the cosine curve so, but then not only that, for every C1 value, for every C1 value, you get a solution. So if you take C1 to be five, you get a solution, five cosine 5x, and it will satisfy the differential equation. If you take C1 to be 11, 11 cosine 5x will be a solution. C1 is two thirds, that's gonna be a solution. Negative square root of two cosine 5x, that would be a solution. But how many of those solutions go through a specific initial condition? So that y x0 equals y0 is called initial condition. So each graph here of y equals c1 cosine 5x is considered a solution. So the question we need to ask, does the differential equation dy dx equals f of x, y have a solution whose graph contains the initial point or the point x0, y0? And if so, is it unique? Is it a unique solution or not? Well, let's see how we do that. Um, to do so, we need to look at a theorem. Okay, we're gonna look at a theorem, an important theorem that, this theorem talks about the existence and uniqueness um, for a first order differential equation and the theorem said 
if we have let r the, be the region bounded by the graphs a doesn't equal x doesn't equal to b and c doesn't equal to y doesn't equal to d that contains the initial condition point x0 y0 in its interior if two things f of x y and the partial derivative of f with respect to y both of them are continuous on the region r then there exists an interval there exists an interval i centered centered at x0 and a unique function y of x defined on i satisfying the initial value problem above initial value problem above so how do we how do we apply this how do we apply such a thing such a theorem well let's see let's say they ask us to determine a region determine a region of the xy plane for which the differential equation dy dx minus y equals x for which the differential equation would have a unique solution through a point x0 y0 in the region so what do we need to do here the first thing we need to find if f of x y and and uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to y both are continuous or not well always what we have to do is solve for dy dx by adding y to both sides so then the function f of x y which is always dy dx and in this case is x plus y this is always continuous no matter what x and y you put in there there's no restriction on x or y you can put any value you like and the partial of f with respect to y means the derivative of this with respect to the variable y means x is constant here so its derivative is zero and the derivative of y is one so the answer is one this is also continuous both are continuous both are continuous okay both are continuous and so the question is asking determine the region so where could that be then if, if they're asking about the region well then we say then the given differential equation given differential equation um, will have a unique solution in the entire xy plane because you can pick any x and y values by the above theorem by the above theorem we can look at another example same for 1 plus y cubed y prime equals x square what's y prime 
can solve for it. And remember, that's dy dx. You can also rewrite this for easy to differentiate later on, like so. So, what is fxy? fxy is the given function or the given form or equation. Is this continuous? Yes, it's continuous everywhere except that y cannot be negative 1. We need to find partial f partial y. Keep x squared the same. Bring the negative 1 down. 1 plus y cubed to the negative 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is 3y squared by the chain rule. So that gives us negative 3x squared y squared divided by 1 plus y cubed to the second power. Again, here you can replace everything except y. y cannot be negative 1. So we can say that the differential equation, differential equation will have a unique solution in any region in any region where y is not negative 1. Another set of questions you, you, they can ask you is to determine determine by inspection at least two solutions of the given initial value problem say x dy dx equals 2y, y of 0 equals 0. So it's kind of like guess and check. I would start by saying y equals 0 is one of the solutions. Why? Since for the left hand side, if you find dy dx for y equals 0 is 0. So the left hand side will be 0 no matter what x is and the right hand side is 0. So this works. This is one of them. Another one by inspection, y equals x squared. Why is that? Because the left hand side, left hand side would equal x times dy dx is 2x, so that's 2x squared. The right hand side is 2y, so 2 times x squared or 2x squared. So they are the same. Not only that, any multiple, say c x squared, will work. And you can test that out. So this is all by inspection. You can come up with as many solutions as you want. In the next section, we're going to show you how to actually solve this and where are these y equals x squared, c x squared are coming from.